This might be referred to as post-colonial uh, literature and sort of after contact. Um, so if I'm coming into this with my teacher lens and I want to use this for my classroom, um, this book called This Land is My Land is written by George Littlechild and he navigates poetry, um, short story, you know, after contact and um, I'll give you an example here. You know, he's showing kind of like the everyday relationship, you know, what has happened. Mountie and Indian chief. So this is, you know, a contact, right, relationship and how students can um, unpack this. You know, understanding statements like, this land is my land. You know, when we think about that song, what do we think about? When we experience it through the lens of an Indigenous person, think about it that way. When we think about it through the lens of a, a Euro settler, think about it through that lens. When we think about it through the lens of a new Canadian to Canada, think about it through that lens. So really, um, teacher practitioners could really dive into um, how could students rediscover or rewrite these stories. Another um, great example is what Columbus first saw, you know. So having students navigate the truth about Columbus, and Columbus was lost, and he landed in the wrong country, and he named people an incorrect name, and we know we have an, they were trying to discover India, but they landed in North America, and hence we were referred to as Indians, and we know that it's called Indianos. So there's so much um, restoring that could be delved into through post-colonial literature, and this is just simply one example. Another one is called Encounter by Jane Yolen, and it's a beautiful story, um, just riveting, and how it disrupts our colonial um, narrative. And understanding, you know, who is Columbus? And, and what happened in the beginning? And how was he welcomed? And why do we call it Thanksgiving? You know, with whom is it Thanksgiving for? And so really when children can navigate those stories together, and understand um, the great loss, but at the same time, too, the great gains in our relationship. But when we're able to tell truthful stories, when we're able to look at history, when we're able to disrupt our colonial narrative, when we're able to disrupt our understanding, tell truths, inform it, restory it, when we know the truth, we can tell a better story. And when we know better, we can do better. Bye-bye.